Let's start our coverage show with Sean Lay and the uh, bombshell revelation that came right in the middle of this hearing, Sean. Absolutely, and the teen right now here at the Oakland County Jail, his parents in another section also here in the Oakland County Jail. You mentioned this bombshell. During these stunning admissions one after another, he says that his father, he paid his father to buy the gun for him. The gun, he says, was not secured. He had easy access to, to it. Let's take you right inside court. Is it true when you committed these crimes, you intended to put students and teachers in fear, and you intended to cause panic among the Oxford High School community? Yes. As the 16-year-old pled guilty to each and every count, prosecutors revealing new information that his father bought the gun used in the shooting spree, but the son paid for it himself. Is it true that you asked him to buy the firearm? Yes. Is it true that you gave him your own money to buy the firearm? Yes. James and Jennifer Crumley are charged with involuntary manslaughter. Are prosecutors now getting ready to charge the parents with federal firearms violations? Those uh, facts are very important for his case. We've charged him and he's been convicted of terrorism and it goes to his state of mind and his preparation and premeditation. So that, that is why um, that was part of his plea. Local for legal analysts, attorney Neil Rockine and attorney Mike Ratai weigh in. That the gun was for Ethan, that he paid for it, that it wasn't for his father and that his father did an end around. That's compelling evidence. That's on the record. They won't seek a life sentence if he testifies against his parents. That would be a travesty of justice, in my opinion, to use the kid uh, to go against the parents. Back here live again, absolutely stunning to hear the prosecutor ask each and every question and the admission of guilt from this teenager, again, still housed here in the Oakland County Jail with his parents. Again, prosecutor Karen McDonald not wanting to talk about the parents' case today and that possible federal gun charge for the father. She says today was the first step towards some healing, but just the first step, guys. Back to you. You know, Sean, one of the things that a lot of people noted today was that he seemed to show no emotion, though his attorney uh, says it really it's otherwise. Absolutely no emotion at all. Attorney says that he is remorseful and he wanted to do the right thing starting today.